Libra, hello, this is your reading for the remainder of June 2024. I've asked what needs highlighting, what is the challenge and what is the advice. Stay until the end as I have some extra uh, guidance here as well. We'll see more at the end of this. And... Um, amazing the both decks at the bottom of both decks we have the tower libra and even more amazing uh, the when i first started to shuffle i found both decks with the six of pentacles on top of them so wow a lot of confirmation here um clearly things are changing for you there will be a tower moment but that is fine because that only happens when there is a weak foundation and we need to rebuild on a better stronger foundation so it's not necessarily a bad moment um, when everything sort of falls apart is because it's meant to be rebuilt redone in a better proper way so let's have a look and see what are we being shown in respect of the situation that needs highlighting we got the three of cups clarified by the justice by the emperor the king of pentacles and the two of cups so some of you may have a um, court case um Ta um, date a uh, court date coming some of you may be celebrating a um, a um, oh what's the word i'm looking for a situation coming into balance some of you may have, oh, I forgot this, the, this is um, interesting. So first and foremost, a lot of um, major arcana cards for you with the justice, the emperor, the two of cups, the hanged man, the tower twice. So very powerful energy for you, Libra. And um, positive, I would say as well. So yeah, some of you may be coming into balance and with that the six of pentacles there which is a about equal give and take one meaning is about equal give and take and one meaning of the justice is about finding balance um maybe some of you are sort of um coming um had a celebration on your on your mind or you are um, uh, how, uh, you are turning your back from spending too much time with other people and now focusing on um, solidifying a situation uh, about a situation that brings you financial stability and a happy relationship. Um, what I was trying to get out here and I couldn't, um, for some of you, for a portion of you could be celebrating something to do with, um, like an exam type of thing. Um, so yeah, a court date coming up or celebrating an exam or, um, good result, uh, bossing up um positive te uh, results at, uh, for tests like medical tests if any of you had to um to check something with the with their gp with the doctor if not if you have on your mind something like that and you're thinking about seeing your doctor go do it I'm not seeing anything negative here whatsoever so you are encouraged if some of you um are thinking about counseling as well go do it i'm not seeing anything negative here so it's really okay whatever your 
you need to do go for it because it's it's good the energy is supportive of um of you and with this uh, king of pentacles some of you may be dealing with um a nerve sign capricorn taurus virgo or with somebody who is a married guy very stable financially and although the king of pentacles is usually re um, regarded as a married man i feel this is a guy who is actually holding his love back from sharing it with anyone so he may be stable financially he may be um yeah like a successful business person or a boss or whatever or a doctor can be or um whatever other profession with, the, with like a sense of authority about it but he's not either he's married but he's not um giving equally in the marriage in his relationship or he's holding back from get, getting into a relationship again take what resonates with your situation we are talking about collective here which is like you know thousands millions of people um and yeah it's different for everyone what um the challenge is is the hanged man so some of you may feel like um you're sacrificing too much um, some of you may feel like in a limbo, something is not coming to a conclusion and you're waiting and um, with the three of wands here, you're being advised um, in the advice position, you're being advised to wait because your ships are coming in. So it's fine for you to wait. Don't upset yourself. Um, here we got the star, the strength, the four of cups and the four of uh one so interesting um leo card here and i had a feeling of leo energy here as well this doesn't have to be just leo it can also be um another fire sign aries or um sagittarius and we some of you may be dealing with an aquarius um or thinking about an Aquarius, some of you may feel like, as I said, you're waiting for things to happen and they are not happening yet, but that's fine. You find that challenging, um, you know, a bit trying. And some of you may have to learn to be patient and to overcome your ego. You're a bit discontent with these four of cups and you need a break. You need to rest and recuperate, um, because you may be tired you may feel drained at this point and um, i was saying interesting that we have repeating energy for you with the tower two towers here two six of pentacles when i started shuffling and now with two fours so this time is not the same card but it's the same number um, four is about um, foundation and with the tower here I was saying that usually shows up when a foundation is not, is not um, solid enough so you may have to look at a foundation whether literally or um, symbolically and then in the advice position we have the three of ones clarified by the eight of ones the three of cups lo and behold again three 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 of cups three of cups so same number same card as well here interesting and then the two of wands and the three of pentacles um <laughs> three 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 um i've seen four 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 so three fours one two three four threes two twos two fours no i said fours um yeah what can i say <clears throat> a lot of repeating energy two eights as well eight is about money so some of you may have good news or wait for good news about money it's coming in 
some of you, as I said, um, are thinking about gathering, party, celebration, connections, networking, and you're thinking of putting out your feelers, getting communication out there quite quickly, fast communication. Um, some of you may want to make a decision about the property. If possible, don't do it yet. If you can wait, wait. Um, l let things flow and see what uh, the you know what uh, happens. And if you do have to make a decision, though, and cannot wait, um, go with your gut feeling, with your intuition, not with your head, because this right now probably until the end of June, to be fair, is not the right time to make decisions if it can be helped. And I was saying here, um, I was saying at the beginning that we have some extra uh, messages for you. We have the Page of Swords, the Queen of Swords, again, your energy, the Page of Cups and the Empress. Um, actually, I wanted another one, to be fair. Um, I don't know why interesting okay so communication that you sort of turn your back to and start focusing on um okay no let me let me rephrase this this type of communication is more like gossiping um or superficial communication like not interesting type of communication stalking and that kind of superficial stuff um you turn your back to that and good on you you start focusing on nice communication with the page of cups this is loving kind um emotional nurturing type of communication this is what you need and what we all need to be fair you, some of you may have two children or maybe dealing um yeah some of you may have two children or dealing with um parents you as a child to a parent with a parent or a, a mother figure father figure mother here with the empress not father um but actually you never know some um some dads are very much into their nurturing feminine energy so it can be as well um so and some of you may be dealing with um another rare sign like yourselves fire signs i did say every sagittarius leo um some of you may be dealing with the taurus water signs pisces scorpio um cancerians as well you may be dealing with that kind of people um but it's nice sort of connection loving communication nurturing connection um some of you if you have a project you got to make sure or a project or a passion something that you're emotionally attached not attached connected something that's dear to your heart if you have something dear to your heart or someone dear to your heart you have to make sure and watch the way you speak and here again when we were talking about communication this type of communication is not it's not mindful communication. This type of communication is. So you got to be careful with your words and with your thoughts. Both your words and your thoughts. Because what you say to yourself makes a huge impact on both you and those around you. And I see a very loving connection here as well. Um, your heading, your your looking for it and you're heading towards that a uh, doesn't mean that um so you may be single and he looking for a connection and it's important that you learn about yourself about your love language and about the person you're going to be with and their love language and their needs and nurturing um but if you are already in a relationship um you can elevate 
your relationship depending on how you speak to your person and how you communicate together so libra please subscribe like share it helps the channel thank you and i hope it helps until next time be loved and be happy